Welcome to my paradise. Come and take a look out through my eyes, and you decide why be. Fighting, telling lies, they criticize and hate each other. Nature colors all have changed somehow. The seas are brown, the skies are thick and gray. All of these things make me feel so down and think about finding. A place where we can share some weed A place where there's no bullshit And everybody can come Welcome with. to my paradise Where the sky is so blue Where the sun shines so bright Welcome to my paradise Where you can be free Where the party Your colors all have changed somehow The seas are brown The skies are thick and gray All of these things make me feel so down And think about finding my own place A place where we can toast and dream A place where we can say some we a place where there's no bullshit and everybody can come Welcome to my paradise Where the skies are blue Where the sun shines so bright Welcome to my paradise Where you can be free Where the party never ends in the song Welcome to My Paradise tells about anxiety over the state of the homeland that is no longer harmonious and makes him want to create his own paradise. Also want to create his own paradise, namely a special place that can make him happier, away from the less pleasant circumstances around him. Someone who also wants a free life without lies, fights, and death. Then, that person goes to a free place to do whatever he likes as long as it's within reasonable circumstances and everyone can come without exception. And people who are hostile and bad at each other can only damage and harm nature and living things and it's necessary to fix everything in harmony. So, the figurative language content in the song Welcome to My Paradise lies in the lyrics. Welcome to my paradise, which is sung by Keisha at the beginning of the video and when we sing together. It's a category of figurative language hyperbole because it seems as if he has his own paradise. And there is also the sentence come and take a look out through my eyes, which is when sung by Keisha is also included in the category of figurative language hyperbole because it seems to explain that there is something in his eyes.